I'm going to let you watch this news video regarding the Asian dude that shot the six-year-old boy. And somebody please tell me, how was this dude able to walk on a $10,000 bond, just casually walked out, as you can clearly see in this video, and not be charged for a terrorist act, not being charged for snipering a six-year-old child from a window. And then he was ordered by the judge not to return home. In other words, protecting him, not the six-year-old boy. Watch this news video. Three days after this accused shooter shot a little boy, he walks free, making bond on Tuesday. It has this family angry and confused. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son Kobe. It's all on video Saturday afternoon on Candlewood Lane. You'll see kids playing, hear a gunshot, then Kobe realizes he's hit. <laughs> When allegedly fired through his front window, the bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. Right now, he's not even processing exactly what happened. You know, he don't realize how close he came to not being here. Um, but I realize it. 29-year-old Lee Wen is charged with assault with intent to murder. He's apparently had issues with neighbors in the past, and this time, Dad Arnold suspects Lee Wen was mad. Kobe's bike was in his yard. I'm all right, really. I mean, I can't, I can't function, and I don't know what to do. A Washtenaw County judge gave him a $10,000 cash bond, which he made Tuesday. This is him walking out, picked up by family. The prosecutor's office shocked the low bond. They're filing an emergency motion to get it changed. A judge's order not to return home, but it's a piece of paper, says Arnold. I'm scared for my family, you know, but I, I'm scared for them because I don't know what he's capable of. Reporting in Ypsilanti, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2. Did you hear what this dude said? He said that he's scared and don't know what to do. This dude shot his son. And it sounds like a 22 that he used, but the round went in the boy's arm and out. But this grown man says that he don't know what to do and he's fearful of his family. He's scared. I'm really ashamed, man. There's so many black males out there that are straight up cowards. I can see why there are so many women, primarily black women, that don't respect black men today. How can you sit there, or better yet, stand there and say that you are scared, that you are frightened for your family, and that you don't know what to do after this dude shot your son? Now, you call the police. The man was arrested and he was released on a $10,000 bond. The judge instructed him not to return home, protecting him. So the judge gave an order, a protective order to this criminal, this terrorist, this sniper, he shot through the window at a child and you can hear the child scream. And yet the so-called man of the house 
was fearful and does not know what to do. This would be a time where you just completely lose it. Don't care about your own life. Don't care about going to jail or prison because you are the man and you're supposed to protect your family. This wasn't supposed to go down this way. And it goes back to what I mentioned in a prior video that the so-called black people are not citizens. You have illegal immigrants that have, that have more rights than you do. And yet you allow this type of nonsense. Now, this is a father, and I'm not even going to call this guy a father, but he lives in the home. And being the man of the house, he's fearful and don't know what to do when a neighbor shoots his son from a window. And there's no protest. There's no outrage. Nobody's dropping the docks on this on this on this 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 terrorist. I really don't know what to say. I'm shocked. Your son gets shot and you don't know what to do. This is the time you become a thug. See, women respect strength. And the only thing I saw in this so-called father was weakness. You're too calm on a video saying that you're scared and don't know what to do. Now, when I'm calm, after something like that probably happened, I'm calm for a reason. I'm calm because I'm plotting and I'm thinking. And more than likely, I already know what I want to do. But in a case like that, it would have already been done. What was in my mind and heart to do would have already been done. The police would not have taken him. He would not have had a chance to walk. I would have handled that on my own because he was a threat to my six-year-old child. And you have this male saying that he was scared and don't know what to do. And you wonder why black women have no respect, your own children have no respect for most of black males. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app if you agree and support the channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.